The aim of our work is finally to orientate our sensor accordingly to the true north. With this extent, we offer three ways to transfer this orientation. The first one, we call it raw contact. Then we have the pin contact. We have three options for the pin contact. And the last one is optical contact. About the raw contact, you can do it on any seismometer you have as long as there is an ori uh, orientation line. So I just have to put the sextance, one edge of the sextance, on the orientation line and I read on the tablet the heading of the seismometer. The second way of transferring the orientation is a pin contact. The first option of the pin contact is when you have a blue size. This equipment is fitted with the precise alignment pins. So you just have to put the seistance on the top of the blue size and you read the heading on the tablet. The option two of the pin contact is when you have a groove plate. The groove is where the legs of the seismometer are perfectly aligned with the alignment pins. So you have the groove and alignment pins on the same plate. This plate stays in place with the seismometer. When you want to check the alignment, you just have to put the sextants on the alignment pin. The third option is also with the plate. This plate is like the blue says or the groove plate fitted with alignment pins. And there are two arms that will come in contact with the seismometer and will give the orientation. This uh, third option is uh, customized. On this example, you have also the pins, but you have legs. With these three pin contact options, you keep the best of the sextant accuracy, but you always have a physical contact between the plate and the seismometer. It means that you have the risk to move the seismometer. Now, it's I'm going to present you the last option. It is the one I prefer because there is not this risk. It is the optical contact. On this plate, you still have the two alignment pins, but you also have a laser. This laser will give you uh, the line that uh, will be used to align the seismometer. You install this plate on a tripod. This is what I'm going to show you now in the studio, like if we were on the field. We are now on, on the field. Here is my station with two seismometers. Like that, I will have the six components and I'm going to orientate them accordingly to the north direction. For that, I have a tripod. It's a very light carbon fiber carb uh, tripod. I open the legs 
in order it is very stable. I check that the lock are well done. And I'm going to install the plate on the top of the tripod. You can also uh, use this plate with a uh, say stance on the top of it to align directly the, uh, the seismometer. It's not what I'm going to do because I'm going to use the tripod with no contact. I lock the plate on the top of the tripod. I'm going now to put the say stance, which is already aligned. We did it earlier. Here it is. On the tablet, on the interface, I check the roll. The roll has to be close to zero. So uh, if it's not the case, I adjust it with the screws we have here. Now I can see on the interface that uh, the roll is quite uh, close to zero. So I'm going to set uh, the heading I want on the size stance in order to uh, orientate the blue size. We decided to uh, have 90 degrees because 90 degrees will be the direction of the east axis of the blue size. So I turn down to 90. Here we are. I can turn the laser on. I see the red line on the on the blue face, and I'm going to move the blue face in order to match the red laser line with the baseline on the top of the system. Here we are. We have the laser uh, on the same alignment than uh, the baseline. Now we have the second, the second uh, sensor. So to align it, I will move the tripod in order to keep the same alignment on it. A little bit more. I check on the tablet the roll, which is not bad. And I uh, like for the say for the blue size. I'm going to give the orientation of 90 degrees. Here we are. I need to move it a bit again. Check, adjust, I adjust the heading. Here 
it's fine now. The roll and the heading are the one I want, so I'm going to orientate the seismometer. Here we are. The job is done. We just have to uh, demobilize the equipment and uh, to start uh, logging the, the data. If uh, you have several stations, like this one, you don't have to remove uh, the say stands from the tripod and anything. You just take everything and you carry it to the next uh, station. You don't have to stop the power supply and you don't have to do the alignment again. again. So during this uh, demonstration, I showed you what the sextant is, and uh, I showed you that it is very easy to handle, to configure, and to use. I explained you how it gives accurate orientation. Also, why it can be installed in almost everywhere environment, like uh, in underground or in humid and uh, dusty environment. And also, I uh, would like to remind you the two very important rules. That the first one is to you must import, you must enter a correct uh, position uh, in order the system can uh, compute the initial orientation, can be in either uh, from a GNSS or from uh, manual enter. And also, you must respect the alignment phases that will allow the system to reach the specifications. Now you are ready to operate the system on the field, and uh, I hope you enjoy this uh, session and uh, you won't hesitate to contact us on uh, support at xblue.com if you require more technical information. Thank you very much and uh, see you soon.